Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and it's time for another What's Sold. Okay, so we did a live What's Sold on Sunday, and we went through uh, 10, I think it was 10 things, and then something else came in. I sold a pair of jeans while we were on the what sold. And so folks saw that, but then the sales kept coming in. I actually didn't get any all day on Sunday until one during the show. And then I was on the Bluegrass Pickers show uh, after that later on Sunday evening and something else came in, an offer came in, fantastic. I'm gonna put it over here because I've already shipped it off. You might remember that fireplace that I picked up from that, uh, that farmhouse that was about to get tore down. Well, it sold already. It took about 24 hours. They sent me an offer of $55 plus shipping, and I took that. The last one to sell only sold for 50 bucks, though it didn't have the light bulb. Mine had the light bulb, so I guess that's worth five bucks. So yeah, shipped that thing out. That was a quick sale. She was very excited to, uh, to be having that head her way. So uh, Denise, I think her name was, is about to get a new fireplace. So that's really cool. Uh, something else that came in, that evening was a Hawaii 5.0 t-shirt. This actually autographed by uh, by one of the actors on there. I've seen a couple of them on eBay. I, I'm assuming he did some sort of availability in Hawaii at some point. He's also a musician, um, a pretty talented guy. Uh, sent me an offer of $16 plus shipping, and I took that. I was just a dollar into this thing. The fireplace, I paid $15 for a pile of stuff, so I was less than a dollar into that fireplace. So those both really, really good sales. Now overnight, we made a couple more. Uh, I made a sale, uh, if you remember, it was one of those bucket list things that I've been looking for, the Jurassic World dinosaur. Guess what? He already sold. Now I did put him at auction. I tried to put him at auction at $24.99 as an opening bid and got nothing. I did get one guy say, hey, I'll buy it at the very end. There's like 20 minutes left. Sent me a message and said, I will buy it for $30 shipped. No, sir, we're not going to do that. Uh, and so I just relisted it as a buy it now. And it sold. It sold to somebody in Australia overnight for uh, just under uh, just under 60 bucks. So that a pretty good sale. I picked that up for, I think it was $2.99, $2.99 or $3.99 at, uh, at Goodwill. So that a very good sale. We also sold our second of the Mary Kay gift pack that uh, we sold one last week, and now this one. Actually, both of them ended up going international. Both of them went to Spain. They paid about $99 for this, guys. So it, it's going to weigh about two pounds, so it's going to cost me $17.95 to ship out. And we make a pretty good profit. I was $12 into each of those. So that a really good flip. And now Another one that we've got, this one, uh, this one, one you're going to want to look out for. We've probably got a special video on this either that I've already made or that's coming. I don't know. The, uh, the time in these videos gets wibbly wobbly. Let's check this thing out. Okay, so these guys here, this book, this pop-up book, and uh, I bundled in uh, this little rubber dragon. He's from 2005. This book's from 2011. These two guys together sold let's get that out of the way these two guys together sold for 89 dollars guys look at this pop-up book this is not your uh, your average pop-up book how fantastic is that uh these are guys you want to look out for uh, there are collectors for these books there are collectors for dragons and monsters so we're checking a few boxes but matthew reinhardt and robert sabuda these guys made some of the most intricate, some of the most beautiful pop-up books out there for a time. So if you can find pop-up books with these two guys together, you're in for potentially some really good money. And I don't know why I didn't actually show you the Indominus Rex, because we've got him. <laughs> this guy's cool. He lights up on the back. If you guys didn't see the, uh, the haul video where I found this guy, go back and look for it. It's really, really cool. We found some other good stuff that day, but this was the guy that I was most excited about. I'm kind of bummed out. He's been sitting on my uh, shipping center. And he's not going to sit there anymore. He's got to go to Australia. Bye, buddy. We also sold 
One more thing now. Um, let me show you what this is. We'll see if we can get over here. We'll do a, a, a live walking around. Um, this is in our uh, our multimedia bin. I'm trying to grab it blind. This isn't working. Well, oh, yeah, it is. I found it. Here we go. Um, this I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. I picked this up along with a Simpsons game. And this one, pretty good. Um, we've got two microphones. And we've got uh, two games that go with them. This cordless microphone, Lips, is uh, the deal. These move pretty fast. This moved in about, I don't know, two weeks. Took an offer of 37 bucks. So not huge money, but uh, very quick money. This is out the door. Okay, it's Tuesday now. Sales still coming in, and we're doing pretty well today. It's been a really busy day. A couple of big ticket items today. This, not a big ticket item, but this part of that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle haul that we had, there was a couple of wrestling figures, other couple of oddball things that weren't Ninja Turtles. All those Ninja Turtles figures, this is the first thing to sell. I do have one up at like $9.99 and three watchers. It's like, man, just pull the trigger. Um, this guy, Macho Man, Randy Savage. He sold for $18.99, free shipping. So after fees and after shipping, basically this pays for the box. We paid $10 for that box. So now that box is completely paid for, and every single figure that sells in there is pure profit. So that's nice, but surprising that Randy was the first one to go. I thought for sure one of the turtles, I thought Casey Jones, but no. Macho Man Randy Savage. Okay, so that's number one. Something else that sold, another small ticket thing, but you know what, that's okay. I'm only, uh, I think about a buck fifty into this. This is the uh, the Air Jordan Jumpman. I don't know how well you can see the black on black there. It's the black Jumpman figure on black hat. Uh, went back and forth on offers a little bit and ended up accepting nine bucks plus shipping for this. Um, you know, small sale, but they are paying shipping and I'm only about a buck and a half into this hat. So I figured... I could have quibbled over a couple bucks or let's just make a sale. I've got like 70 other hats listed. Let's just move this one along and make a couple bucks. So there's one more. This I just actually listed this afternoon and it sold in about 30 minutes. I priced it high because um, it's in great condition. It's in new condition. But there were other shirts like this. So I wasn't sure how long it was going to last because the sell-through rate for this particular shirt is not great this one moved it had the, the better graphic on the front here's the back you might have just seen this in the thrift 30 challenge thrift haul this the uh, harley davidson ozarks there's a lot of ozarks harley davidson not many sold but what mine had going for it besides the condition is the graphic on the front with the pinup girl pinup girl harley davidson shirts tend to move better this one also a double x so it had a lot going for it. I just happened to post it at the right time. That uh, I posted it, a guy was looking, and it showed up. So Harley Davidson going out the door, the first Thrift 30 Challenge item. Uh, I took an offer of $19 plus shipping for this. So that's not bad. What else? Okay, this just came in. The Infinity Gauntlet. This is a cup, comes with the straw. I got this as part of a big bulk deal. I bought a guy's Funko Pop collection uh, months and months ago. I think it was during the preseason, the NFL preseason, actually. Um, picked up a, a whole collection. We paid $520. We've more than tripled our money at this point. And I've got a bunch of these. I've got like two dozen of these things. I had them priced a little bit high. They weren't moving. So just the other day, I lowered these to $14.99 free shipping. I think it was pushing $24, $25 before. We're already in the profit, so I thought, you know what, let's just move these things out. You can't find these anywhere. These were given uh, or sold. I was going to say given away. They're sold only in the Cinemark theaters, so there's not that many of them out there. It's a cool little piece. I can't show you super well because, well, we can turn it sideways. It's still in the plastic. It's still sealed. Uh, I have something, I don't know, I have a whole ton of these. So if you're interested, holler. Um, I'll even give you a better deal than that. But the Infinity Gauntlet and a new straw going out for $14.99 free shipping. This one I'm preemptively showing because it hasn't sold yet. As, as of the time I'm putting this together, I've got about six hours left on the auction. But I've got one bid, three watchers, so I'm pretty sure this is going to go. Right now it's at $19.99. This is an animation cell. I'm trying to get it without the light on it. Uh, this is an original animation cell from 1983 with Orko from He-Man, Masters of the Universe. This is Orko. 
Let's get him close. It's in pretty good shape considering it's, you know, I, I think it is 80, it's 83 or 84. I think this is from the first season, so it would have been 83. So really good, really good piece. This one's gonna go. I just hope they pay. So, but I've sold two of these. So I thought, you know what, while I'm grabbing one, I'm going to grab the one that's at auction. So there's this guy. But then I actually sold this one straight out. This one is one of the cooler pieces in the lot that I have. There we go. This is Mother Dragon. I'm trying to figure out how to show these things. There we go. This is Mother Dragon. She was only in one episode. And so it makes her a little bit hard to find one episode from a show 40 years ago. Um, this is really, really cool. This is a great piece. It's going to look really good in a frame. And I sent out, I had this posted at like 75 bucks thereabouts. I sent an offer of $69.99 or $64.99. I think it was about 70 bucks is where I had it. Uh, I sent an offer of $64.99 to somebody, to two watchers this morning. I got countered for 60 and I took it. Um, I'm about, I'm $5.40 into each of these. So this one is going to uh, pay off a whole bunch of them. It's 60 bucks plus international shipping. It's going to a buyer in the UK. So this one headed out. I actually do have others. If you want to look at my store, we have other He-Man cells available and actually coming soon. I'm fingers crossed. I've got some Flash Gordon coming as well. So that's going to be really cool. But this one is a good sale. I, have, I did this this morning. And then this one, even better. I've been sitting on this for a while now, waiting for the right amount to come in, waiting for the buy it now or the full, you know, for the full price or the right offer. I lowered this by about 10 or 15 bucks a while ago to try to spur some more interest. I had it listed at 160 or 170, which was high, but it's because I have really one of the only ones and the one in the best condition available. There's only a few of these in any condition available. And I wanted, honestly, about 150. That's what I was hoping to get. Um, but offer after offer kept coming in at about 90, 100. I got up to 110 at one point. And so I decided, you know what? I can be stubborn and sit on this for a year and eventually get more money. Or let's hope for 125. Well, 125 came in this morning. And that's what it went out for. So this is a vintage single stitch Def Leopard shirt on, oh, that, you can see it there, on the giant tag. Um, they, they released these on various tags. The giant tag is, uh, that's sort of the holy grail of concert t-shirts. Very often, giant is going to be worth more. It does matter the brand that these t-shirts are printed on. Even if it's the same graphics, the tag matters. So this is a, uh, a giant tag. It's a size XL, which is obviously fantastic. It's in amazing condition since it comes from like the early 90s, I think. Really cool graphics on the back. But yeah, $125 for this t-shirt plus priority shipping. Uh, I didn't want to send this first class, so uh, I did put it at priority shipping and he's paying for the priority. So we do get the insurance uh, on this, which is really nice. I paid $15 for this from a guy that clears out storage units. Um, and he realized after the fact that it was, uh, after we came to a deal that it was more expensive, worth more than what he thought, but credit to him, he held to our deal, $15 turned into finally 125. So this a very, very good sale. I'm very excited about that. I gotta pack this stuff up now, but I'll get back with you if we sell more today. It is now Wednesday, and we're gonna finish up this what sold before it gets way long. Just a couple more things, and one note, the uh, the Orco auction did pay. They didn't pay last night, but they paid a little bit later this afternoon. So two animation cells going out, that's awesome. Uh, we sold this today. This is the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It's a, I was gonna say vintage book, it's an antique book. It's an early printing, not the first printing, but it's an early printing from 1918. One that's not particularly valuable, but one that I picked up, it was in a haul video a while back. Uh, sold this for $9.99, free shipping, but it's media mail. It's going to weigh about a pound, so $2.80 to send out. We got this thing for 
right around a buck, I think. So we'll make a couple dollars on it. I just, I had to save this from the thrift store and get it into the hands of somebody that would appreciate it. So this one going out. Um, we also sold, this is really cool. This is a WrestleMania program. And it's all the way back from 2010. So 10 years old. This is the one that they did in, let's see, where was it? University of Phoenix Stadium in Arizona, March 28th, 2010. Not great condition, but not many of these floating around. And it had the current uh, program in it, but then the second half of it, so you can see a little bit of it here. We'll turn sideways. Um, the second half of it had like the Hall of Fame class in it. So we had Hulk Hogan, and you flip it upside down. See, there's Andre the Giant. Really, really neat. It's a double-sided uh, double sided program. So I knew this would go eventually, and someone bought it today, and now I'm not remembering the exact price, but I'm going to put it up down there. It was like 22 bucks or something like that. So pretty good sale here. And then we got one other sale. This I actually posted this morning. I had it all drafted, ready to go, and just hit the publish. It took about two hours, and I got an offer. This I just picked up this weekend. You remember at the garage sale with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? This on the tool table, it's an old vintage Craftsman saw. Keep an eye out for vintage tools. Craftsman, definitely one to watch out for. Uh, Sears and Roebuck, made in the USA. This a fine cross-cut saw, really good saw. Uh, the comps for this were right around 20 bucks. There was only a couple of them that were similar, none just like this. This is a more rare version of this saw. So I put it up at $24.99 plus shipping just to see. That was going to hit my 15% off sale before too long and come down to like 20 or 21 bucks. Um, somebody sent me an offer though within a couple hours for 18 and a quarter and I accepted and he sent that because his total price was $30 all in. So not bad for a $1 investment. Took a couple days for me to post it and then a couple hours to sell. So watch out for these and shipping it Super easy. It's going to be bubble wrapped and then sandwiched in between two pieces of cardboard. That's it. That's all we got, guys. There might be some more coming in tonight, but we're going to cut this thing off. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time.